Hey everybody, thank you for pressing and playing this video. This is basically a beginner's guide because I am literally only four to five months old with KDP. So I wanted to share with you um, how to validate a niche on KDP. And you might be asking like, who are you to be teaching me this when you're only five months old? If you watch one of my previous videos, even the March 2022 income goals, I've already crossed the $2,000 mark. So these are the things that helped me and I just want to share them with you to help save you some of the pain and learning curve. So, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm going to review free options first. So you know that you don't need to be discouraged by spending money. The first one is the Amazon search bar. If you go into the incognito tab, any type of web browser, you can pull this up and go to amazon.com and you can start typing in words that interest you. Maybe it's um, ketosis, maybe it's fitness, maybe it's sewing, maybe it's uh, running, diet. Um, there's so many different things. But going into the search bar will let you know what has already previously been searched. You can't see the number at, for free unless you download some of the free apps. But you can start validating like, okay, people actually search for this. The second thing is like looking at the best sellers. Those are the best way to see what's validated because you'll be able to draw inspiration from that. And you don't need any apps for that. Facebook promotes that to you anyways. Maybe you even get emails about the best sellers. YouTube videos. This was a great way that I got started. There's so many KDP publishers that talk about niches that have a lot of searches, but not a lot of books in it. So I went that route and have found success that way. Ghostwriting sites. This is incredible. I have been wanting to work on a project and I've been really kind of intimidated because the book that I would, that I've draw my inspiration from, it makes about eight to $10,000 a month. And so I bought it just to gain that inspiration more to see what it was all about. And I was really overwhelmed with this person's certifications and things like that. And then yesterday I was on a ghostwriting site. And it shows the covers of books they've published. And guess what was on there? The book that I bought that I wanted to pattern mine after. So that was huge validation of like, okay, if this person with all these credentials hired that out, like I have a chance of being successful with my idea. So I'm so excited to move forward now, knowing that uh, they used a ghostwriter, you know, that really empowers me to be like, I can figure this out. Also think about the books that you bought from Amazon. There's so many things that I have worked up in my library where I'm very interested in specific topics. So you can look at those things and then go into the Amazon search bar and see how much more they're validated. I buy best-selling books. I buy a lot of marketing books, a lot of self-development books. That's something that I'm definitely interested in, but I have a wide range of passions. And if you go look through my previous videos, I share why it's important to publish on your passions. It just helps it to, you know, create this consistency and sustainability that you need. So look at the books that you've already purchased. Now for paid, this is what really changed for me was being able to see the power of validating a niche. And my favorite one um, will come after this. I use Publisher Rocket and they have a one-time fee. And I was able to find a lot of great things. And I actually was able to find competitors to what I wanted to keep Pete with. And I even found their YouTube page. So it was really interesting how Publisher Rocket gives you information. And as I always say, information leads to inspiration. The one that I'm currently using every single day is BookBeam. And BookBeam is telling you how many searches, how many competitors there are. And um, I really like it. So I've used it for some validated niches that are selling now. And as I get into high content, BookBeam will be right by my side. Other things that I've used are apps designed for KDP. If you go to the Chrome store, you can see which ones are free and they give you data of how many times an item is searched. And it's really important to use multiple types of software and apps so you can cross examine the data to validate a niche by using more than one platform. To me, that has just Okay, X, 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 check, check, check. Once I have those up, I know I'm good to go. So I'd love to know how you validate a niche and what you're struggling with. Love you guys. Peace out.